Hello everybody and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. Today we're going to be taking a look at a group of super cool, super rare games and accessories for the Atari 2600. Now if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I'm an Atari guy, love the 2600, 5200, 7800. So anytime we get a chance to pick up these rare titles, these scarce titles, these really cool accessories, we love to add those things to our collection, love to add them into inventory. You know, sometimes these scarce titles come in pretty beat up shape, mid grade, low grade. We still pick them up because some of these titles that we're going to show you guys today, these are the only raw copies we've seen over the past 10 years. So we pick them up no matter what condition they're in. I think we have about nine games here, eight or nine games to show you guys. And like I said, a super cool peripheral device that was made for the Atari 2600 console as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We have nine games to show you guys. Very, very rare titles. Excited to show you guys these today. Let's start off right. Here is Keystone Capers. Now, if you guys are collecting for the Activision or for the Atari 2600 in general, you know how scarce the Keystone Capers is. Complete in box, sealed, impossible. And this is actually cellophane sealed. We are going to send this off to Watt, of course, for grading. The seal on this is immaculate. You know, this is the best copy we've seen ever. You know, these typically only come complete in box or cart only. We've seen a lot of cart onlys for these. But this one here, as you can see, cellophane is great on this here. This is going to be a this is going to be a pretty good grade. I'm saying 94, 92, 94. I'd be very surprised if we get under 92 on this. As it still has original price stick on top. Now, most of these games came from one collector in the Northeast. So it's very, very cool group here. He kept those things immaculate. Well, he kept them safe, let's say, because as you'll see, some of them aren't immaculate, but some rare titles in there, and he, and he kept them for 45 years. So very, very cool group to pick up. Along with Keystone Capers, this is another super tough one to get sealed. You know, these, are, once again, Maze Craze, you only see this game in cart only or complete in box every once in a while. Sealed like this, impossible. Now this one here is not cellophane sealed. The box looks great on this here. Still has a hang tab glued down. There is a teeny bit of crushing here on the back, but like I said, who really cares? This is the first sealed copy we've ever seen of this. A couple little spots on the front, but you know, like I said, this should be an easy 8.5. That crushing on the back is definitely going to affect the grade a little bit. I'm going to say an 8.5 on this, but once again, this is the only sealed copy we've ever picked up. In a lot of these games we've been looking for for 10 years, Keystone Capers, never saw a sealed copy of that ever. Once again, Maze Craze, never saw a sealed copy of that one either. So very excited to have both of those. Another one here that you never see sealed very often is Canyon Bomber. Now, this one here... Every once in a while it'll pop up. You know, you probably pick up a nice sealed copy like this in this condition, maybe once every five years, maybe four to five years. You know, we haven't ever bought one of these you know, raw copies. I think we might have one graded, maybe. You know, I don't even know if we have one graded. I think we might have missed out on that one. But this one here, once again, there's a teeny little bit of crushing on the bottom. You know, that's pretty common with these games, these ungraded games in people's collection. They're very easy to grab out of your collection to pick up and hold and kind of push in on the bottom here so you a lot of them always have this kind of creasing or dent on the bottom of the box but once again very nice box a little creasing here here and on the back this is an 80 i think once again sealed copy you know hang tab is still sealed down color rubbing around the edges and corners i'm thinking this is an 80 maybe an 85 for 1978 release this is perfect you know in my opinion this is great Canyon Bobber. I don't think, you know, I just don't think I've seen one of those sealed in that condition ever. Oh, here's another one that you don't really ever see pop up. Now, this is Moon Patrol. You do see Moon Patrol come up, the later release. This is the 1983. This is the first release. It has the bigger art here. As you can see, it takes up pretty much the whole front of the box. This is the tougher one. It's not in incredibly rare, not as rare as these, but very, very scarce. You know, you're going to only see one of these, one or two of these a year. So it's still pretty scarce to pick up, but not as rare. But once again, in this particular condition here, the seal is perfect on this thing. Still has a hang tab stuck on top here. You know, a lot of these, a lot of these games, seal games, a lot of people will put modern hang tabs on them. The way to tell, of course, is that the hang tab on the original plastic starts yellowing. So you will have a yellowing portion of the of the hang tab here. But once again, this box is great. I don't really see any of that kind of crushing on the bottom. So this one here, we expect a nice grade on this. There's a little teeny bit of crushing on the front. Eight five to nine, 
two, let's say. It all depends on how generous they are with this because this could be cellophane pulling the box and they don't really take off as much for that. So I'm thinking maybe a 9.2 on this at the high end, 8.5 at the low end, so somewhere in, in between there. But once again, the Moon Patrol, the 1983 box, super tough to find. Let's put that on top. Okay, now here's one. This is the first ungraded sealed copy we've ever purchased of this game. Superman, the red box. Now there is, of course, a blue box telegames version. The telegames version, very, very, very tough to find sealed. Any of those telegame boxes are incredibly tough. This is the red box. This is the one most people are familiar with when they think about Superman. And this one here is pretty good. Uh, this is a mid-grade game. You know, you have definitely have some caving in on the box on the back. Definitely have a lot of color rubbing across every edge here. You know, every single edge has color rubbing. But this is sealed. We took a pretty high power magnifying glass to the edges here to make sure there wasn't any color breaking from being opened and resealed. And all this color rubbing here is just, just that. It's just color rubbing from when someone was taking it in and off their shelf or out of their collection. But as you can see from the bottom here, it is caved in a little bit, creasing on the bottom end of the box here. So this one here, once again, caving in on the side, we're thinking this is like a seven five, I'm sorry, this is like a five five or a five oh. You know, we actually have a five five here that looks worse than this. So maybe this is a five five to six oh, let's say. This is definitely a mid-grade game, but once again, Superman sealed, impossible to find. You're definitely gonna be paying 3,000 plus for a sealed copy like this. So any condition of Superman, we pick up. This is one of this is one of the games I was telling you about earlier. Any condition of the Superman red box, we do buy those. Now here's another game that we buy in any condition, and you can tell from this particular box. This is the Gremlins 2600 version with the red banner across the top here. Of course, the 5200 version has the blue banner. Incredibly common on the 5200. Super, super rare for the 2600, especially sealed like this. So this is, as you can see, cellophane sealed. But as you can also see, this box has had a pretty tough life. It's very caved in on both in, on both sides here. Popped out the bottom, bottom's crushed, sides are crushed, box here is crushed, a lot of dings around the edges, very hard creasing on the, on the side here. So this one here, maybe a 4.0 4 to a 5.5. 5.5 is gonna be very generous. This is definitely like a 5.0, 4.5 grade. You know, we don't expect a high grade on this, but this is the only red banner gremlins we've ever picked up, sealed. You know, these are very, very, very tough to find. And that's why I say, any of these in the with the red banner 2600 version, we buy those in any condition. Because there's always a collector out there that's looking to fill holes in their collection, and they're not looking to spend 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars for a mint copy. They just want a nice graded, you know, sealed copy. And this here will fit that description pretty well. Well, here's one that we just mentioned in telegames a moment ago. Here we have the bump and jump for the telegames. Now, as you see, it's telegram, telegames branded down here. This is the black box. Most telegames are black boxed. This is the Atari 2600 version of Bump and Jump. Now this here is scarce. I wouldn't say it's incredibly rare. You do see these pop up a couple times a year, maybe once or twice a year. Not in this condition though. This, I mean, this game is perfect. This, th we've looked over this before the video started. This game is perfect. Seal is immaculate. No holes, tears, rips, anything in the seal. No scuffing on this thing. I mean, this thing is immaculate. We expected like a 9.4, 9.6 on this. I mean, this one here is perfect. And this is, like I said, it's pretty scarce. You don't see these often. It seems like when they pop up, you'll see two or three of them pop up and then no more for like two or three years. But they do seem to pop up every once in a while. Like I said, not in this condition. This is definitely a condition rarity. A very cool game. This is going to be a high grade. 9.4, 9.6, easy on this. That's nice. That's the nicest copy we've ever seen in that game. All right, only two more games, and then we got a really cool peripheral device to show you guys. Okay, here's one that everybody knows is rare. Space Invaders, and this is the blue box. As you can see, not a very nice looking blue box. Still has the original price sticker on top, $29.95. But as you can see, color rubbing all around the edges. Not much crushing though. You know, you got a little bit of corner, corner crushing here, corner creasing, but that's not a big deal given the rest of the condition of the box, you know, you do have some crushing on the side. Looks like it was caved in. Like I said, a lot of these more mid-grade games came from the same guy, but 
you know, these games you do not see sealed very often at all. And when, and when you do, they're pretty pricey. So we pick these up in any condition. Like I mentioned a moment ago, there's always a collector looking for a sealed copy. And a lot of these mid-grand games like this, they do fit nicely in people's collections. And they do look very nice in the holders. Those holders make these games look a little bit nicer than they present when they're raw like this. So this one here, Space Invaders, this is the tough version. Of course, there's the red box version that is incredibly, incredibly common. I think we probably have 30 or 40 here, you know, waiting to be graded. But this one here, this is the first blue box we picked up raw, so we're very excited about that one. Very excited to see what kind of grade we get out of that. We're thinking maybe a 5-0. You know, there is that crushing here on the side. So a 5-0 we'd be happy with. A nice, solid mid-grade. Oh, here we go in our final single game. Check this out. This is the only one we've ever seen, and we didn't even know they made these. This is the Combat Gatefold box. Now, this here was the pack-in that came with the original system, and this is the Gatefold. This here is the one that opens like the book, like this, and this is actually cellophane sealed. We did not know they made a cellophane sealed version, but this is the original seal on this. As you can see, the bottom here is crushed. And there's some scuffing on the seal itself, but we, you know, we don't care. This will probably be the only one that we've ever seen graded for the cellophane sealed version of the Combat Gatefold. As you can see on the bottom here, it's, it's definitely crushed, crushed. You know, mid-grade, we're thinking a 6.0, 6.0 to 7.0 in that range. Probably not a 7, maybe a 6.0, 6.5. But once again, this is the Gatefold version, and this is cellophane sealed. I, I, like I said... Never ever seen one of these sealed in cellophane, but clearly the gatefold, you can see where it opens up right here. You know, all these were the pack ends. They packed them in without sealing them. You know, this one here must have been released around the same time on the store shelf so people could actually buy the original version. But once again, never seen a sealed, a factory sealed pack in like this. I mean, a factory sealed gatefold pack in. This is super, super cool. Excited to see this in. Probably, like I said, probably be the only one on the census. So very excited about that one. And here is the very cool peripheral device for the Atari 2600. It's the video game brain. Now this one here, very similar to a CD changer. You got this peripheral device here that you actually plugged into the cartridge slot on your 2600, but this here held multiple cartridges. I think it held six extra cartridges here and they had buttons on each side. So when you put all your cartridges in, you could just push the button to switch from game to game so you could play six different games without taking the cartridges in and out so this here very cool peripheral device you don't usually see these box like this you know this one here is very very tough to determine whether or not it's been open so we are going to send this to vga like it is and just have them you know open it and verify the contents so this will be a qualified grade it's very hard to tell if this is just color rubbing or if there's actually breaking here from being open these here boxes you know they just tucked in they weren't sealed you know they weren't glue sealed the ends just tucked in so you could pop them open pretty easily and you know it's hard to believe this wasn't used or at least wasn't open and checked out over the years so this one here probably opened but once again you know you don't you don't see these very often it, you know very cool concept for the 80s you know when they were trying to figure out a way to get multiple different games to play on the same system this here like i said you just push the button switch from game to game very cool, very cool peripheral device. The only one we've ever seen like this in this condition. Once again, this is pretty good condition on this. We expect a 75, maybe 75, 80 out of this. It's not perfect, but it is pretty good condition here. So there you have the nine games that we have for you guys and the peripheral device. Please feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.